Hey everybody, it's Damian Questney here. Thank you so much for taking the time to join me today. I'm going to go on a little rant here regarding crypto and remote viewing. And, uh, you know, I feel a little disappointed, a little emotional. So when those flare up inside of me, it's like fire, right? Not a smoldering fire, but a raging fire. Anyway. So, you guys know that I use remote viewing for the crypto markets. As remote viewers, you can influence things, all right? You can aim energy. So, I would like to go into a little deeper into how you can use remote viewing in the crypto markets with real world examples and and give you the ability to see how a remote viewer would see to train you to learn your language to learn how you interpret the world by simply understanding that your consciousness is already full you already know everything you just do not have the ability to be aware, to tune in, to resonate with that. And everything that is real in the world has a frequency and a vibration. And you, as well, have the same ability. So you can tune in. And this is what remote viewing does. Remote viewing is you and the local having an experience in the aggregate, something that exists far away from you because you are connected to it. You have a relationship with it. And if you build that relationship, the stronger the bond between you and that thing, regardless of time, time is a separate situation, but you can bond yourself to that. And the more that it loves you, the more that you love it, the more care, the stronger the detail and the more resolution. Okay. Now that we got that out of the way, consider that, but we got that out of the way. We... Money and currency is the energy that you put behind it. Who gives a shit if it's made out of silver or made out of seashells? It doesn't matter. What matters is the people who put the energy behind it and turn it into a currency where two or more people will now accept this as a means of exchange, as a transaction. And crypto is no different except for the fact that it provides, val it self-validates. It, it, it makes sure that it takes the trust out of either party and puts it into a self-validating system where you know that each side of the contract is accurate. And to share with you why I'm in the crypto markets is because through remote viewing, I understand that the now has this trend for humanity in the digital space to turn everything that is physical into the digital everything this the soda bottle caps that i sell could be put on the blockchain and sold as a resource provides velocity into the markets this is why this is going to be adopted is because it brings velocity back to currency we need the energy to produce with this new science fiction star trek reality that is trying to be built for us if this is what people want if you think this is what people want then you understand that this market is remote viewing wise that this market is going to be massive but if you don't think that people want this star trek reality then you bet against it and you talk about silver and i have nothing against silver but silver is is magnetic okay silver has the power of sound okay so you can you use silver as a technology not as a currency you use silver as a means of levitation, as a means of sound and vibration because of its properties, its magnetic properties. Not like gold, which is electric and produces the force of things and makes things go fast, like the sun. Silver is like the moon. So we don't need to... Dis it's like, why talk about that when... 
the future is showing that what people want is Star Trek. So that's why this industry is going to blossom and be huge because the blockchain makes things efficient. Now, I do realize, I'm not an idiot, I do realize that at some point that everything gets corrupted and this technology can be used against us. And it's wise that we discuss how to avoid those as much as possible. But right now, anybody who's in crypto right now, you are so early to the game. The mass population has not even walked into this technology. I know because for over two years, I've had a Bitcoin ATM machine at my store and I see the quality of people who come in and use it. I have met the most coolest people by having that machine in my store here in Las Vegas for two years. I was one of the first people. I'm the first business in all of Las Vegas and nobody's even asked me about it to accept Stellar as a crypto, as a token at my store, my retail store. Not one person has even cared to show you how early you are to this. You think the price now of Bitcoin is too high? You just wait. You just wait until people start adopting this and technology start coming out from companies, from companies that have built platforms like Pillar. Wait until they hit the market with their secure wallet. People in my remote viewing sessions that I have done for, for companies and for people who pay lots and lots of money for these things, Pillar is a massive one. Also, I'll share with you guys something too. When the younger generation starts kicking into this thing, they're going to love this retro crypto. I'm giving you guys some remote viewing stuff here because I'm disappointed in what other people out there are doing. And this, this retro one is so cool, it has an 80s theme to it, and it has the, you know, the diehard feel of being, having the uh, core, you know, having the, uh, you know, going all the way back to the, the classic core style, which is at two and a half cents right now, which is Digibyte. When the kids grab a hold of that one, you just wait. And people pay a lot of money for this. And I'm giving it to you here for free because I'm emotionally upset right now about what's going on and the circles that represent things that I do, <laughs> you know? I feel like it's making me look bad. And I, you know, and I look up to these people. Why? All right, I'm, before I go too far astray, I think I'm gonna stop there. I've already ranted for too long as it is. So thank you so much for taking the time to listen. Y'all have a great day. Cheers.